Timer is a comprehensive computational tool to explore and visualize the interactions between tumor infiltrating lymphocytes and important biological signatures. Previously, we developed a deconvolution method to estimate the abundance of six tumor infiltrating lymphocytes from TCGA gene expression profiles. To explore the associations of immune cells with multiple genomics data, we built this web interface to perform genomic analysis dynamically. Timer consists of six functional modules shown in each tab panel. Let's get started with the gene module. During tumor development and progression, cancer cells and immune cells interact by multiple genes and pathways. So if you want to look at the correlation of gene expression with immune cell infiltration level, you can input a gene symbol here, like PD-1. There is a red hint to prompt you that PD-1 is not an official gene symbol. Let's try PD-CD-1. Then choose one or more cancer types. Use the default for all immune infiltrates. Check the Submit button. You can see there are a number of scatter plots generated below. The x-axis is the level of infiltration for each of the immune infiltrates you selected, like B cell, CD8 T cell, and so on. We always display the gene expression level against tumor purity on the leftmost panel, because genes highly expressed in the microenvironment are expected to have negative associations with tumor purity. For each immune cell, we calculate their partial Spearman correlation adjusted by tumor purity. Look at this plot. That means in breast cancer, if there are more CD8 T cells, PD CD1 is higher expressed. The second module is for survival analysis. This module is to investigate the clinical relevance of tumor infiltrating subsets. It provides the Cox proportional hazard model. First, choose cancer types. Here, we will try head and neck cancer as well as melanoma. We have seen the result displayed here. The Cox model result is calculated for each cancer type respectively. Here, the default includes the six immune infiltrates. We see 527 patients with 232 events, and the variable table gives you the coefficients, hazard ratio, 95% confidence interval, and p-value. We can also correct for this model with adding multiple covariates, such as age and stage. And we only want to look at the CD8 T cells. We can see that the CD8 T cell significantly is a protective factor for melanoma. Users are also able to include a list of gene expression values into the Cox model. If you input PD CD1 as well as CTLA4, you will get those genes added into the model as well. The survival module also includes a KM curve for immune infiltrates and gene expression. Just click the plot curve, and KM curves are created. If you'd like to compare the difference between the upper and lower 20th percentile of patients, you can use the slider to set the cutoff 20%, and then click the plot button. You can see that CD8 T cells and other genes for head and neck cancer give you a more significant p-value. The next module is a mutation module. This module compares the levels of immune infiltrates with or without the presence of a given mutation. Here, 
we choose breast cancer, and you'll see the mutated gene list has changed. Then, choose a frequently mutated gene. The first number in the bracket is the number of patients with this mutated gene, followed by its percentage. We're going to choose CDH1 and click the Submit button. As you can see, a box plot is displayed. Here, we find that if CDH1 is mutated, there will be more CD8 T cells and CD4 cell infiltrated. Same with the mutation model. We could use the CNA model to compare tumor infiltrating levels among tumors with different copy number aberrations for a given gene. Say we choose breast cancer and lung adenocarcinoma. And we input PDCD1 and click Submit. Box plots are presented to show the distributions of each TIL subset at each copy number status. The significance is tested for comparison of each status to normal status and labeled at the top of the plots. The fifth module is differential expression module. It could explore the gene expression across all cancer types. Simply input PDCD1 and click Submit. Users can identify genes that are up or down regulated in the tumors compared to normal tissues for each cancer type as displayed in gray columns where normal data are available. Here, we can see most cancer types have a higher PDCD1 expression, like breast cancer, kidney renal cell carcinoma, and lung adenocarcinoma. The last module is the correlation module. It draws the expression scatter plots to compare the correlation between two gene sets. If we choose BRCA as the input, for example, and the y-axis for PD, CD1, CT, LA4, and the x-axis as GZ, MA, PRF1, and click Submit. The scatter plots give you the correlations that you can compare.